In this video, you'll learn how to use the navigation bar and customize it to fit the way you work. If you open a document or an app found in the app directory, it will appear as a temporary tab in the lower part of the navigation bar. In the upper part of the navigation bar, you'll find apps including Messenger, Calendar, Base, and more. You can perform actions on temporary tabs to help you organize them. Right-click a tab and select Close. You can also select Close other tabs if you only want to keep the selected tab. You can drag tabs to rearrange them. If you frequently open the same tab, you can simply drag it to the top of the navigation bar. This will pin it there so you can access it anytime. You can drag apps and pin tabs in the upper navigation bar. If you no longer need an app or tab, just right-click it and select Unpin. If you have too many apps and tabs, you can group them together to help organize your navigation bar. Right-click an app or tab and click Move to Group and select New Group. The tab will now be moved to the newly created group. You can right-click the group and select Rename to change the group's name. After creating the group, you can now drag apps and tabs into it. You can expand or collapse the navigation bar to adjust its size and visibility. Right-click the navigation bar and select Collapse. To return to the original view, right-click again and select Expand. Alternatively, you can hover over the line between the navigation bar and the chat's pane and drag the line left or right to adjust the width of the navigation bar. You can also right-click the navigation bar and select Hide Names or Show Names depending on whether you want Display App and Tab Names. Now you're ready to start using the navigation bar. For more tips and tutorials, check out the Lark Help Center.